Uh, that's an S four by a few the four. Uh. Hey everybody, it is ZarzX of HG Central here, and welcome to part twenty one of Tokyo Extreme Racer. Now you're just hearing me talk for this intro, but there is going to be a shortcut coming up because if you notice in the field, there's only three cars this time instead of the usual four we've been seeing the last couple parts. So I will see you in a bit again. And I'm back now for the proper first car to face. It is Sunset Runner from Speedmaster. <laughs> These Speedmaster guys, they keep coming out in full swing, I tell ya. But we will take down the NSX and go on to win, because winning is good. Lagging is not, though, because uh, this game can't handle too many cars on a screen, unfortunately. The second game has the uh, exact same problems, so... Nothing you could you could they probably it's probably something they couldn't really fix, at least when they were on the Dreamcast. Anyways, yeah, uh, not Sunset Rider is not doing too bad, but I am in the lead, and yes, I am again on the inner. That's a van. <laughs> okay, well I kind of blocked the the path for uh, him there, so that's okay. St still haven't been passed, and that's the way it's going to stay. <laughs> Anyways, see what we can uh, accomplish here in the more speeder sections. Oh, that was, that was a bit hairy, but we're still going. And unfortunately, in a six, let's taxi. Come on now. Oh boy, this isn't looking too good now. Can't do that, but that actually kind of helped a little bit. Let's come on. And to be fair, the uh, car that we passed was someone we had beaten already, so we don't, ha don't have to worry about waiting for that car to catch up. So, huzzah! Anyways. Oop, just, just swiped off the van, that's okay. And there's the win for just 5 over 16,000 CP. Very nice. And here we go! <laughs> that's how much to tell you the Speedmaster was out in full force. We're now already to the leader, Iceman, in a blue R32. So here we go. And there's the car that we haven't faced that we just passed. It is a black MR2 of something. My best guess is Windstars is what I'm probably going to imagine. Well, I guess we'll find out. But anyways, let's uh, beat this guy. Of course, since... He's faced us first. We start in front of him already. As you've already noticed. Obviously. Yes, keep him behind. Don't let him pass. Even though he's quick. Ooh, boy did the, uh, the 4x4 SUV thing. Why do I keep this? Why do I keep swip swapping into two or... Oh, no. This is this on the... Hey, okay. <laughs> well, uh, that was extremely lucky there, I will say. Hey, I'm not, I'm not complaining though, because, well, that's a truck though, unfortunately. And here he comes. Yes, keep him behind. That's a van. God damn. Okay, looks like uh, that hit may have definitely done it for him, because he's now back there. This is multi straight. That's a taxi. Actually, that may be a regular car. I don't see a taxi thing on it. And what a yeah, over twenty-six thousand CP. Very nice. I will gladly take that. And there we go. So we did pass a couple cars. So a jump cut is in order. And there's the MR2. Yes, I was believe I was right. It is indeed from Windstars. It is Black Magician. Black MR2. Black magician. You see what they were going for there. You get the idea. You know the. You know how the plan works. You know you had. You know you didn't eat a bagel for breakfast unless you did. Then that means I'm a liar. You know you. Uh, wish to drive cars this fast every day, but we can't because then we just get in huge trouble from the law. Anyways. Ooh. It's the wrong way. Ooh. And all right, floor it on down. At some good speeds. And actually, kind of took the right time to turn for that. And there we go. Got a pretty decent lead now. 
and oh, swipe off that. And there we go. 11,259 CP exactly. As this time I decided to get entirely correct about it. Instead of just being like just over this or just under that or whatever. Anyways, we've got yet another leader to face in a bright purple Supra. It is Wolf's Re Requiem. Yeah. That is very purple. Not that I mind. Because I... I'm probably still gonna beat it. Unfortunately, this means passing this guy again. Who happens to be another black car. It looks like to be an R32, though, so it may be a freeway. Maybe. Anyways. Ooh. And get through there, yeah. And did he get stuck by a couple cars or something? Because I'm just soundly, soundly, just going way ahead of this guy. Now. Slow. Okay, actually, may maybe not so much, and that's a taxi. And he hit the taxi and he got stuck in. Yeah! Thank you for the over 16,300 CP. And there we go, over 400,000 CP. Yeah, we definitely got a lot of money now. Yes, that is an R32. And there we go. But there we go. We've got the third of fourth of the four devils. Zero. In, yes, you're not, your eyes are not perceiving you, a Porsche 911. Specifically, probably the turbo model. Yeah, this car's in the game. It's the only non-Japanese car in, in the entire game. So they got really special with him. But, uh, certainly is not keeping up. That's for damn sure. I will probably end up using that Porsche for something, uh, else. You'll see what that something else is. Wow, come on! This is a devil car! How am I just whooping this guy's ass? This is ridiculous! Wow, I didn't ex I really did not expect that at all. But there we go. Over 51,600 CP, thank you very much. I'm just gonna let this replay play go on, because that's amazing. Not only did I just whoop him at the start line, he never even caught up. That's I've beat that's I've beaten that devil with ease. That shocks me. But hey, I'm not complaining either, so yeah. That shit that's just incredible. Anyways. Bam. Alrighty then. So now this means we gotta get yet another jump cut because of the guy we uh, we passed a while ago in this black car 32. So I will see you in a bit. And I have returned. It is yes, indeed, a freeway highway bomber in a very very dark black car 32. I do see a little shade of very very teensy shade of blue there though, a bluish green. Maybe it's because of my color stuff. I don't know, but. I kind of see it a little bit, but that's just me. Anyways. Let's beat this guy, because I'm pretty sure this is the last fucking freeway guy before the leader. Oh, boy. Nope. <laughs> Keep it together, man. Keep it together. Somewhat kept it together, I guess. Oh, boy. So I think with that, that leaves... When the freeway leader, that leaves rings. And who else does that leave? Because I just beat Wind Stars as well. I actually don't know. I know I still gotta do rings, but I will probably check off screen afterwards. Alright. Didn't even get 6,000 CP for him, so he wasn't meant to be that hard, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Time for the leader, because I was right. It is Blue Comet in a R34. And blue. What else do you want? Honestly, expected to f face the freeway leader earlier than I did, but eh, whatever. We're facing him now, so and he'll get beaten by my much more powerful R34, devil style, with the antenna. The antenna probably gives it like 80 extra horsepower. What do we know? What do we know about? And uh, oh my God. Maybe it was a little bit wrong. I got that was pretty damn quick. 
Almost like a comet. Hey! How about it? And I missed the SUV there, but did hit the wall because of how I tried to avoid it. But it's okay, because uh, I actually kind of disappeared for the most part. Jeez. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There's zero again. And ow. And over 8,600 CP for a total of 473,924 CP. Hey, how about it? Alright, so there we go. That clear. That's. That interestingly enough was meant to be the first half of the field. So before I uh, did the. Uh, came back on the. Uh, do, uh, 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 uh. Before I came back on the track, it was R. I checked to see who was the other team that I had to beat because all I could think of was rings, and it was RR that I hadn't faced. And here is that last RR guy before the leader. It is Risky Cat in a. Uh, excuse me, a bright pink RX7. Why? Well, whatever. But yeah. Kind of surprised me that that's like that's the only car out right now. I was hoping for a second car to be out. That one, that would have been the rings one, but unfortunately, we didn't get. That lucky. Oh well, we're, we're still gonna we're still gonna show that guy in this part because, well, you'll you'll know why. Oh, oh my God, that was uh something. Unfortunately, I took the worst of it. And yeah, I didn't mean to go so quiet just before that moment. I just uh, kind of zoned out for a moment. And back past the pink arc 7. And to stay in front of it, we will. Yes. Just let that go down. Bam! Over 16,250 CP. Very nice. We're almost at 500,000 CP. Would you, would you believe it? I would, I guess. Anyways, time for the leader of RR, Silver Duke. He doesn't drive the FD though, like most of the other RRs, he's actually in the FC. Very interesting. And the R has now lit red. Oh my. Anyways. The, the only sad problem is he's not gonna win this one. Because it's I'm gonna win this one. So he'll just have to uh, keep dreaming. Oh, that was extremely close with the van there. That was awesome. Unfortunately, same couldn't be said for that one. No. That was probably one of the most deliberate. I've actually tried to stop someone from passing me. Ta-da. Ow. Oh, the vans. They never learn, do they? They, Yeah, they really don't. And he, he's hitting things. And so am I somewhat. Oh! And. Ow! Oh, fuck! Just my bash string. Failed to not have the guy pass me. Then I run into a van. Brilliant. And. No! Ha ha ha! So that's over 21,300 CP. Thank you. Look at that. We're already over 500,000. Yeah, alright. So, for one last time, we're gonna make another jump cut. So I will see you in a bit. I thought I'd just like to mention that it took me a dozen tries to get this guy to appear. I kept going to try to start the, uh, the, onto the track to uh, face him, and this guy, Silver Angel from Rings, would not show up. Finally, after many attempts, I finally got him to appear. And as you may have noticed, I actually am on the outer because I uh, I tried alternating between the two constantly, and for him to finally appear was during an attempt on the outer. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to do quite a bit of it, quite a bit of it. I'm gonna have to do quite a lot of editing. But yeah, it was quite annoying. I w well, it's like. You think the they would, the game would be like, oh hey, there's one more guy out, let's get him out right away. Nope, it took a dozen tries. 
to get Silver Angel and Fair Lady's in to come out. At least it did. Oh boy, at least it did. Because now that means we can do, well, what you're about to see after this guy is defeated. Thank you for the 11,267 TP. And now, the leader of rings, a lonely jackal in an NSX. And the rings now has a, a border ring around it, a light, instead of just the orange rings. Many rings. Many, many, many rings. Um. Oh, never mind. I was about to say. <laughs> Too bad that 4x4 didn't actually help out. Alright. Here we go. Thankfully, because we're here, well, speed's in my favor. By quite a bit. In fact, actually, to be fair, that NSX is somehow managing to keep up by quite a decent amount. Holy crap, how is that NSX staying up, staying a put? And that card just magically appeared in my very eyes, but thankfully I did not hit it. Alright, and now it seems like I may be breaking away, Van! Well, I was, then Van. Oh, this guy's, this guy's not exactly getting off me easily. He's, he's definitely quick, that's for damn sure. Come on now. Um, you're almost down. And... Go... Yes! Yes! There we go. Over 26,600 CP. Uh, if I didn't need more money now, I certainly didn't need more. I'm almost at 550,000. This is pretty insane. And uh, just let that play for it for thumbnails. Alright, now, that was the last leader to face. But, as you know, we only faced three of four devils. It's time to face the very last devil and the very last rival in the entire game. Yes, the very fourth and final from the four devils is three question marks. We actually ha He's so unknown that they don't even know his BAD name. He is actually driving a Bl Datsun 240Z, which is one of my all-time favorite cars. Somewhat because of this game, but not entirely. But yeah. We're gonna beat this guy. In fact, he's actually trying to struggling to keep up with me. Oh, does that change in the later games? Yes, this guy will make a recurring appearance. I'm just letting the spoiler out right now. He's not in every... TXR game, but he is in a good portion of them. And, well, he's gone. I don't know where he's gone. Ow. Don't hit that. Here he comes. He's coming. I'm gonna keep him back there. Oh. Oh, that actually kind of helped. Yes, this is gonna be it. This is gonna... Ow. Oh my god. This is it. Yep! The very last rival has been defeated at 51,713 CP. In fact, because that was the very last one, let's just, I'll just let this play out. Because, well... Might as well. But yeah, there we go. That is the 141st rival completed of 141. That, for the most part, does complete the quest mode. Except, as you're going to find out, this isn't the end of the LP. There is one other thing we're going to have to do, and it's going to take at least four parts, as you will see why. What exactly? Well, you're going to find out when I put it out. Now, what's going to probably happen after this is it will show credits. I'm going to leave the credits for the very end, because, well, they're credits. Credits should always go at the end of the game. As you know. As you know. And yeah, there you go. That marks the end of that. So yeah. I get, again, it would take me to the credits if I click on this, but I'm going to save that for the very end. So I thank you guys for watching very much. Uh, stay tuned for part 22 when that comes out. I got a lot of editing I'm going to have to do with this part. But anyways, thank you very much guys for watching and stay tuned on YouTube and or GameAnyone.com.